The chief deterrent to war today is the terrible striking power of our strategic air force. The problem of navigating these great planes for thousands of miles, then releasing the bombs with split-second accuracy over an invisible target, is fantastically complex. Fortunately, the flight crews have a superhuman device to aid them, an electronic brain called the bombing navigational computer. This amazing mechanism, which can solve problems in calculus automatically, is being turned out in the Milwaukee plant of General Motors' AC Smart Plug Division. The computer has some 68,000 parts, a maze of wheels, motors, gears, and wiring. Yet, it is being produced in quantity, and 75% of the people who work on it are women. Many of the operations are held to tolerances 15 times smaller than the diameter of a human hair, though few of these girls have had previous mechanical experience. This seeming paradox is the result of General Motors engineering and streamlined production planning. Jobs are carefully broken down to suit the individual. Girls are screened and put through an accelerated training program so that they are proficient in their exacting tasks in only a few weeks. These valuable training techniques are being made available to other firms recently licensed to make the computer as an aid to the national defense program. The new device will navigate a bomber from its base to any destination, regardless of weather, when coupled to a suitable radar site. When the plane is over the target, the computer will select the precise instant, open the bomb bays, and drop the bomb load with phenomenal accuracy. In the bombing navigational computer, American Enterprise and Engineering, in cooperation with the Air Force, have provided a far-reaching development in aerial bombardment. With this fabulous black box, our long-range bombers can penetrate the defenses of any enemy in any weather. It is one more reason why our strategic air arm remains the most feared fighting unit in the world today.